Hey guys, it's Bub here, and today we're taking a look at Astro OS, which is a OS that was recommended to me by one of my viewers on Twitter. Astro OS claims to be a stripped-down version of Windows that transforms your Windows experience by eliminating bloatware, enhancing performance, and prioritizing privacy. With Astro OS, enjoy a streamlined, efficient, and faster Windows tailored for an optimal user experience. Discover the power of a redefined and responsive operating system with Astro OS. This makes a lot of bold claims, including no malware at all, and it's been scanned by Malwarebytes, Bitdefender, and Avast. It's malware-free, and they're promising a lot here. Uh, the version we're taking a look at is Astro OS 11.24H2, which I would assume is based off Windows 11.23H2 because 24H2 is not out yet. Um, there is documentation here including an installation guide as well, which installation guide should be just like regular Windows, um, which takes you to a GitHub. There's also the GitHub for it, which I believe is the source code. Um, I could be wrong though. Docs, post setup, I don't know. We'll, we'll look at that a little later. And of course, a Discord link. Full credit to these people, enderdev.com, um, and the person who recommended me to this on Twitter. Let's go ahead and jump over to VMware where we can go ahead and boot up this ISO and take a look at this operating system. Now, I am actually not being sponsored by the developer. I have no monetary or no commitments to this operating system, so I'm gonna give my full uncensored opinion on this operating system um, and we'll see what it's like. All right, so this is the new Windows 11 setup, the, the one that was still in beta. It's actually not publicly released yet. I'm hoping that they remove the TPM thing because this VM does not have a TPM. Um, but I think it just by yeah, it just bypassed it. And like I said, this is the brand new Windows 11 install screen. So hopefully that this, you know, goes well. All right, and here we are booted into Astro OS with VMware tools installed. This is a clean install aside from the fact that I put VMware tools on here. So let's take a look at this OS. First of all, on the desktop by default, we have Recycle Bin, Firefox, and Install Software. We'll take a look at these in just a minute. Well, I just launched one of them. <clears throat> Down here in the taskbar, we have the time. We have, you know, typical Windows 11 things. These aren't actually modified. And then we have, let's see, the, that, I just actually opened that. Windows Store, File Explorer, what is this? Task View, Search, and the Start Menu. In the start menu, by default, we have settings and file explorer pinned. While we're looking at this OS, just keep in mind this is meant to be a lightweight operating system, and so far, I'm seeing all signs of that. In pre-installed apps, we have accessibility, file explorer, get started, which I actually questioned why this was in lightweight OSs in a previous video, and it turns out someone said this is really baked into the operating system, like it's really hard to get rid of. Media Player, I do like that they included that. Microsoft Store, Notepad, System, Terminal, Windows Backup, Windows Security, and Windows Tools. Now, this install software shortcut on the desktop, let's see what we have here. We can use Winget, oh, this is this is great. This is such a great operating, or a great way to install software. We can get ungoogled Chrome, Firefox, Waterfox, Brave, Chrome, so normal Chrome, Liberwolf, Tor Browser, Discord, I'm not gonna read all of these, but I mean, there's a ton, you can download all kinds of stuff without even having to go onto the internet. That is crazy. And then we have Firefox.exe, which I assume is the Fire, yeah, that's the Firefox installer, because by default, it doesn't come with a web browser, uh, but we're actually getting Firefox right now. Moving on, we have the Recycle Bin here, which of course is a typical Recycle Bin, but that brings us into the actual UI elements, so the, like the File Explorer. So File Explorer looks pretty normal for 23H2, except the uh, padding between icons over here is reduced, kind of back to how it was in Windows 10. Missing an icon there for some reason. I've actually never seen this before. This is new. Actually, what version of Windows is this? I feel like this is 20, yeah, this is a beta build. This is 24H2, wow. So we are actually using an insider build for this OS. That's why I never saw this before. Like I've never seen this screen and I was very confused, very confused. All right, let's take a look in this PC. So we did install Firefox, so it's not stock anymore. So stock with Firefox and VMware tools is using 8.3 gigabytes. That's honestly not that bad. I was expecting worse considering the fact that the ISO itself is 4.73 gigabytes, which is significantly more than some other smaller lightweight operating systems. But yeah, that's that's really nice that they're using 24H2. I mean, that it's a glimpse into the future of Windows here. 
Um, and it, it really is true to the name Astro S24 H2. I'd be curious to know if they're going to plan to update this to the final release of 24H2. In Windows Update, by default, is it activated or do they disable it? Because I know typically uh, updates can break these custom OS's. So let's see if it can actually pull updates from the internet. Now granted this is an insider build, so it may not actually find anything if it's fully up to date. Yep, it appears that it can pull Windows updates. That is actually pretty cool. This build was compiled on... That's a good question. I don't actually know because it appears to have made those folders when I um, installed it. I'm actually not sure when these were created. But I did notice there is a windows.old folder here. So it appears like at one point this was like probably 23H2 and then they did an ISO upgrade. As for RAM usage and CPU usage, we are, I gave this 8 gigabytes of RAM and a, I think a 2 core processor. Um, we are actually using 100% of our CPU right now. A 10700K, 2 cores, uh, now we're starting to come down. I don't know what it was doing. Then we also have 2.3 out of 8 gigabytes. So not that bad, honestly. Let's look at if Windows Defender is on here. I don't know how to type that. Windows Defender. Hey, look, Windows Defender is on here. So it does actually come with security, which is something that some other tiny Windows distributions actually don't come with. So I'm glad that this comes with it because that is a win for security. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for your here as I do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.